What's up guys, Charlie Nascar here, coming to you after the New Hampshire race. Sorry, it's going to take me a little bit while for this video to come up. I'm going through a rainstorm, lost the last 10 laps of the race. I had to watch replays to see how Harvick knocked Bush out the way. But hey, those fours, this, those cars were on some long run strategy. Gotta tell you what though, that race was actually pretty good. A lot better than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be one guy dominating the whole race and it was going to be boring. I actually had a lot of good action in it. I was impressed. But you know what impressed me the most was? The pick four picks. Got really close to giving the winner, but I can't get the prize. I had the first three in a row correct. Because I picked Harvick, Bush, Truex, and Larson. Straight up in a row. And then I, and on other chance where I had to go top five, I put Bowman fifth. So I didn't look good there, but hey, that first three, I'm looking good. I was the closest one. There were a lot of other people that did have three out of four on there. I mean, you guys are doing good all around. This is the second week in a row where everybody, where I have had like a bunch of people either get the, the top four close to being correct or have at least a top three in, a, in some kind of order. You guys, man, we're all kicking butt on this thing. We're all becoming seasoned veterans on season three of Charlie NASCAR. But man, that race was pretty good. Sucks I'm getting hit with a torrential downpour here. Taking my internet left and right, my TV in and out left and right. So, you know, I missed some good parts of the race. All in all, it was a good race. A lot better than I thought it was going to be. I thought really it was going to be a snooze fest. I thought to myself the hardest thing about this race was going to be able to be staying awake dur during it. I thought it was going to be boring. I thought something like Truex was going to get out in front, be leading by four or five seconds, and it was just going to be kind of a snooze fest. But that race was actually pretty good. I'm happy with that. You know. Hey, and Chase Elliott. I almost thought Chase Elliott was going to be his day. You know, he won stage two. He actually passed Martin Truex Jr. Straight up did it. No strategy. Actually out drove him and passed him. That was impressive. Eric Almirola. I kind of wonder if he would have won if he, if he had a better pit spot stop. But if you look at that pit stop, it's like a little bit of a bob. I mean, it's crazy. How much could really fuck up a guy on, on pit road? I mean, it looked like a good stop. A lot of the stops, like they're Jimmy Johnson who lost a bunch of spots on, on, I believe it was the second stage or the first stage break when he went to pit road, he lost a bunch. And you look at it, it's like, just because he parked it a little bit closer, it slowed up his pit crew a little bit. I mean, shit like that on a track like that, that magnifies to like a, tr tr uh, a bad mistake. But hey, you know what? It's a good race. Even though we wanted somebody else, we all did. But we all knew it was going to happen. You know, anybody that did not think one of the top three was going to win the race would have been, you know, would have been crazy to think so. I don't think we're going to get a new winner until the playoffs. And by playoffs, I mean either the Roval or Talladega. That's what I mean. To we'll probably get a new winner other than those three. I know Board gave us two other ones that weren't plate races. But I, I just don't see it out of anybody. Really don't. If you look at the last 20 30 laps, those big three are always up in the front. All just them. Oh, yeah. Another thing, Dale Jr.'s commentary is doing a lot better. I gotta tell you that. He, he is definitely by far the class of the field. He actually did give some interesting insight. You know, I think it's time for Jeff Burton to go out. Now, the no disrespect to him, his voice sounds so close to Dale Jr.'s. It sometimes gets a little confusing. But other than that, guys, it was a good race. All in all, we knew, you know, hopefully we'll get a new winner. But like I say, I don't think it's happening until the Roval or Talladega. That's where I really think it's going to happen. I think it's going to be one of those three guys winning races every week. It's going to be one of those three. They're going to have, I remember this, I think it was 2008 when the COT cars came around. And it was everybody at Hendrick Motorsports winning every freaking race. Remember that? And I think like Jimmy Johnson had like 10 wins. One of these guys, either Harvick or Bush, is probably going to reel off 10 of them this season. I'm telling you all. But anyway, guys, I'm rambling. Let y'all get back to your weekend. Hopefully, you know, the storm holds off here so my video can upload because I have satellite everything, internet, TV. So when it's a bad storm, everything takes a while. So hopefully it's not too, too late in the evening when this video comes out. Hopefully, thanks for watching. And as always, guys, God bless you all. And more importantly, Fuck Toyota.